Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is preparing to move to the U.S. Naval Observatory. That's the official home of the vice president. She will be the first female black American and Asian American vice president to ever live there. At the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, there will be another historic first. Midshipman First Class Sydney Barber is her name. She will be the first black woman to serve as a brigade commander in the Academy's 175, 70, 175th year history. Think about that, 175. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host, that's Michelle Miller, spoke with her about her new leadership role. This spring, senior Sydney Barber will earn her stripes, rising to the highest rank at the U.S. Naval Academy. Brigade commander, leader of all 4,500 midshipmen here, the first black woman to hold that role. I'm extremely humbled to play a role in this moment of history. For the 21-year-old Illinois native, it's all still a bit overwhelming. For a black female to be taking command of an institution that once never had a single female at all here, let alone a black person, it speaks volumes to how far we've come. Barber's legacy began with her father, Lieutenant Kenneth Barber, a 1991 Naval Academy graduate. To mark your name in 175 years of history of the U.S. Naval Academy is uh, quite humbling and uh, I'm proud that she's going to be part of that long history. A trailblazing history. Barber becomes only the 16th woman to serve in the top job since the Academy went co-ed in 1976. The same year, her mentor Janie Mines became the first black woman admitted. Me being here at the Naval Academy is her wildest dream to be able to to lead in this capacity, and I hope that one day I could be someone else's wildest dream. Well, you were telling me you almost didn't go out for this. Yes, you're right. I almost didn't. What pushed you over the edge to push the button? My sponsor mom, Captain Tasha Lacey, she really spoke it into life. Captain Tasha Lacey, an Academy alum, couldn't let this opportunity sail by for Barber. We only go for things that we think is within our grasp. I never thought that I could be the brigade commander and so consequently didn't apply for that job. And so when I saw Sydney getting ready to go that same route, I'm like, oh, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. You have to go for the stars. And Barbara has been going nonstop since high school, traveling abroad on mission trips for her church, an experience she says led her to the academy. I'm blessed in so many ways that I, ha I have to give back. I have no other choice but to pursue service to others. A member of the gospel choir, she also holds an academy record in track and field. Still, there are times when she doubts herself, and that's when she turns to her brother, Justin. I would say if there's anyone in my life who's inspired me most, it's him. Born with a rare condition that has left him blind and deaf, Justin was given less than two years to live. I, we celebrated his 19th birthday this past May. He just reminds me that every single day is a blessing. Every day is a gift. I can't take for granted. A gift she shares with her classmates and generations of leaders to come. What I want to do is just to be someone else's light, to be someone that people can look at and say, I can do something that's greater than myself and, and, and make a change in our, our world and in America. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, New York. Bravo, bravo. Thank you, Michelle Miller. So yeah, nice for her to introduce yeah, us to Yeah, what an Sydney impressive Barber. young woman. And I won't forget her, won't forget her name. And I loved the mentor who said to her, oh, no, Oh, no, ma'am. That was you my favorite line. Stars. Go for yeah. those stars. That was my favorite line in the piece. It's so important to have somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our, our service mean. academies uh, yeah. and, and all service branches have so many great people, and I love when we have an opportunity to spotlight yeah. her. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's one of them.